Hey guys, how you doing? So this week I'm back with like a slightly different video just because I'm testing out a new face mask that I personally have seen all over Instagram, all over YouTube and I just wanted to try it out myself basically. So the mask that I'm talking about is the Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. This is by Elizabeth Milky Piggy. Hopefully that makes sense. I've definitely not said that right. But basically this is like one of those charcoal masks that like foams up on your face and that's like how it works. So I've seen like so many like random videos and stuff and like I've watched it in almost like amazement of like, I wanna try that. Like I wanna know what it feels like on your face basically. So that's what I did. I'm a sucker. I ordered it because I saw an Instagram video which is Obviously, like, I don't just make YouTube videos, like, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, so I'm easily influenced, and when something looks this cool, I want to give it a try. So basically, that's what I'm doing today. I'm just gonna, like, give this a try. I thought I'd do it on camera because I've not tried it yet, and it looks really weird. So I'm gonna stop rambling on, and let's get straight into it. So if you're wondering, I actually ordered this one off eBay. It was from, like, a genuine seller, like, it wasn't like a fake or anything this was from like a genuine cosmetics brand but on ebay just because i feel like that this is like not an english brand and anything that's not an english brand is so difficult to get hold of in the uk that i just ordered it on there i had to wait a little while for it to come over because i think it came from a different country but it's just a lot easier that way and you get payment protection if it doesn't arrive because my god i've had that plenty of times i think as well I paid like seven pounds for it, which isn't that bad considering it's a face mask and it looks cool as anything. So it did come with like a little spatula thing, but I dropped it and I can't find it, which is so ideal. I've obviously prepared for this video very well. And it comes in, it stinks. It really, really freaking stinks. Okay, so it doesn't smell nice. And it's like a very weird greeny colour. I really hope that the camera's picking that up because it kind of reminds me of Baby Sick. I'm not going to lie. So I thought I'd just bring you a little bit closer just so that you can see it like in action on my face because that's that's basically why we're all here, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it because I've dropped the spatula and I don't know where I've like it's fling to it's somewhere on the floor it's just clothes everywhere so i'm just gonna like basically just put this on my finger and apply it to my face and see what happens i think i need to be quite quick with it i remember that okay i'm really not mad about the smell it's <laughs> it looks and smells like baby sick if i'm honest I don't really know how thick to do it either, so I'm just going to make this up. It's already beginning to bubble, I need to be like so much quicker with this. I'm just going to put like a little bit more on all over. So I feel like that's as good as I'm going to get applying it. It's already begun to start bubbling, so I'm just going to sit here and let it bubble basically. Okay, so already as it's bubbling it's starting to itch like I'm really trying to resist like oh it's so itchy but it's already looking a little bit like the black moon emoji I look like that <laughs> so I'm just gonna let it continue doing its thing but honestly oh, it's so itchy I'm so, ah, oh, the itchiness is ridiculous and oh, I'm beginning to like taste it so I've had to take that like off of my top lip. It's kind of like bubbling in my nose which is why I think I'm getting like the itchy sensations but I mean I don't look as cool as they look on Instagram but it is definitely bubbling. I'm kind of going to leave it for a few more minutes just to see if it does like expand any more. So I feel like it's grown as much as it's going to and it's literally like really deep with bubbles. I've like been waiting to do this. 
that's how much it's like expanded which is really weird oh my god that feels so satisfying I feel like I've been to like a foam party and it's like leftover foam all over my face but like that's how thick it was that's like honestly insane I just grabbed a towel from the bathroom because I wasn't quite sure how to like wash it off I don't want to like get the towel wet I just want to wipe it off and see what my face feels like after um, and then obviously I can like wet the towel and then like get the rest of the product off but I don't know how easily it's going to come off but the bubbles are kind of disappearing very quickly so I'm just going to wipe it off and then we'll see what my skin feels like Oh my god, my face is so sticky right now. So there's some like stubborn bits I can't actually get off. So I'm going to quickly wash my face in the bathroom and then I'll be back in a second. So I've just washed the rest of it off of my face. There were some bits that were a little bit more stubborn to get off. So I kind of just got hot water, massaged it in and it came off. So it's not like too much of a problem. But I honestly was slating that because of the way it looked. But my skin feels so good honestly i did not expect this it just feels like very smooth very soft and it feels like i've put a mask on that's like more expensive so like i've had origin ones that haven't made my skin feel this soft and that's me being completely honest like i was not up for this working because like i look like an idiot let's let's be real like i looked stupid but because my skin feels this good, like 100% I'd use this again. And this is what it's about, obviously, like, you look like an idiot for like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever I left it on for. But the end result, honestly, I, I'm honestly in shock, can you tell? Like, I just can't even find the words to describe how, like, astonished I am, the fact that this has actually worked. And it's made my skin feel so good. So I'm 100% going to use this again. I'll probably use it when Rich is around as well, just so that he can appreciate how beautiful I am with the mask on. But honestly, I'd, I'd honestly recommend it as like a genuine mask. Like if you're having a few like skin problems or like for me, my problems are I have quite a lot of texture and I get really oily. So for it to have almost like, I wouldn't say mattified my skin, but it's just made it feel just so soft it's made it feel like I've put a pore minimising primer on, you know, like when you put that on and you feel your skin and it just feels like so smooth. That's honestly what my skin feels like right now. So I'd a million percent recommend it. Yes, you look like a bit of an idiot, but your skin feels amazing after. Plus it's a load of fun anyway. So like get the girls together, everyone put it on, wipe it off. And honestly, I think you'll love it. Plus the price isn't actually that bad. So you're going to get loads of uses out of that one. I know that I put that on quite generously. You could probably go in with like a thinner layer and it obviously not bubble up as much, which might prevent the itchiness. So it's kind of a bit of a win-win. But honestly, like, I'm, I'm honestly so happy with it that I'm going to use this probably on like a regular basis. And I think when it, run, it runs out, I'll probably buy it again because I've not felt like my skin is this soft from a face mask in a long time. So that, you know, that says something. So... I guess I'm just going to end the video here and just just tell you to go buy it, honestly. I'll leave the link to where I bought it in the description box down below. I'll leave a couple of, like, options if you, like, you know, I'm not too sure if, like, the seller that I bought it from still sells it. But I'll find, like, a couple of different ones for you so you can choose between, like, Amazon and eBay if there's, like, options on both. And I'll leave, like, the website. But getting it from, like, the actual website was more expensive. So it's up to you, but I'll leave a few links down below so you can decide where you want to buy it from. But that's it for this week. You know, I'm, I'm shook. I'm honestly shook. So if you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I really, really do appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below if you're going to try this out now. Or if you've tried it, you know, just let me know. Tweet me your pictures because, again, if you look like the black moon emoji, then let me know because that was like an accurate representation. I've never looked like an emoji so much in my life than then. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week for another one. Bye, guys.